Welcome to Preseason Thunder 2009 Ford Season Preview. I'm Steve Burns. Henry Ford's Model T revolutionized transportation in 1908. But long before organized stock car racing was a thought, moonshiners raced their durable Fords on the back roads of the American South. It's not surprising that Ford's affiliation with NASCAR dates back to day one. And since those early days at the Beach Oval of Daytona, the Ford Blue Oval has found victory lane almost 600 times. There's Ned Jarrett taking the checkered flag in the 16th Southern 500. Ned Jarrett gave Ford their first cup championship in 1965. This victory will give Ned Jarrett enough points to make him NASCAR's national champion. And watched his son Dale accomplish the same feat 34 years later. Dale Jarrett has won the NASCAR Winston Cup Championship for 1999. And in between, David Pearson, Bill Elliott, and Alan Kulwicki drove a Ford to achieve NASCAR's highest honor. There's the checkered flag for Alan. He's the champion for 92. Ford has a brand new 7,000 RPM engine. The mechanics deliver the horsepower, but the tires will have to hold it on the track. In Ford's illustrious stock car history, names as big as the sport itself have earned wins in the biggest race of them all, the Daytona 500. Mario Andretti ready to take the checkered flag, and there it is. Mario Andretti has won the 1967 Daytona 500. The pride of Georgia, Bill Elliott, straining car number nine to bring it home and give Ford and give the folks of Georgia something to cheer about. He comes across the line to win it by about 10 car lengths. Come on, Bill. Put it to the metal, buddy. Do all you can. Winning two Daytona 500 to be too much. Here he comes to the line, and Bill Jarrett is going to pull it off at Daytona, his second Daytona 500 win. And when you talk about Fords, you talk Talk about the teams, legendary teams and owners, such as the Wood Brothers. And now here's David Pearson, who's been moving up in the pack, coming into the pits. Watch these Wood Brothers go into action. The most fabulous man in the world in, in a pit stop, Jim, by far. Fantastic man. You know, they're so good nowadays, they don't even practice anymore. I was speaking to them earlier the weekend, and they said that they never needed to practice. There's such an understanding between these men. Look at the speed that they do things. Never a wasted motion. Look at that. Holman Moody. Fred Lorenzen and his crew are preparing a 1966 Fairlane. The door has been removed while special roll bars on the driver's side are installed. Later, the door will be welded shut. Robert Yates. Here they come from turn number four. Davey Allison looking and seeing the checkered flag. Allison wins the Pie Royal 500. And most recently, Roush Fenway Racing. Since 1988, Roush Fenway has 113 wins to its credit. To the checkered flag for the 26th time in his Winston Cup career, Mark Martin. And won back-to-back -back championships in 2003 and 2004. Kurt Busch is the 2004 NASCAR Nextel Cup Series champion.